mountain. Clicks Bizzle Booga, have a mountain. We saw the commandment center edgy. Have several mountains right now. Everyone's setting up for this end game. All the big names, all the big names are in position. They're where they need to be. Like we said, we saw Reverse UK Mirror on day just on the opposite side behind that other little mound there sitting up underneath. Commandment, there they are inside a building being able to replenish all of their builds, which gets them nice and comfortable. But that's the widespread. Commandment's way over here, sensing an edgy opposite side. They have to be careful. Even crossing back now to try to get back to Commandment is going to be a risky one. The longer they take, the more likely teams are to migrate on in. Luckily for them, there's not a lot of squads looking in here. Not a lot of situated teams teams looking between this little crevice here and they do get to get back but look at the material it's costing them that's a lot that's a little setback for them and they get the tags out. Now, I noticed Center was actually juggling extra meds into their builds as well. He had spare big pots as well. Now they get the airdrop. So things looking fantastic for this team. 26 teams alive, 70 players. We are not going to get active surge, but we saw this last game. There was no 70 active surge, but it went down to the 50 as all the players that are still in this are focused up and they want to perform. Keep your eyes on that feed. You are looking for any of the top teams to go down. In case you've just tuned in, you don't know what's at stake. This is the last game, the 12th game of the NA. East Trio Finals, and you have Slacks Jack and Acorn in first, Commandment Center Edgy second, Dame Reverse in third, and all of them are jockeying right now, trying to take that first place, as you have Bucky's team in fourth, and Clicks is in fifth, so those are all huge names, if any of them go down here, it will mean everything, as if one of these teams goes down before placement, that'll be it, and we'll see players run away with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And look at the pressure going on here, Siphon, Twexy go down, I think that stretch on the other side to pick up the loot, though. They're going to go ahead and snatch all this up right here real quick. You can see they start to mark it out, try to see what they can find. It's not going to be much, but yeah, those Elims actually fall into Zayt and Sass hand. So they don't get it. They still only have one Elim, but at least they get some tags for it. So it's not for nothing. I'm pretty sure we saw Slacks, Jack, and Acorn get that one Elim as well, right? So that five points should still be holding right now. That is the difference. Five points. Eliminations are worth two. That is one trio wipe from having... There it is. That is the difference right now from first and second. And these six players are some of the most consistent. And honestly, I want to put it down to the most hardworking players in the community as well. Scented and Jack especially do not get enough credit for how much time they put into this game, how much effort they put into it, and how much it means to them. I know they're playing for first, not for the chance champions pickaxe not for the prize money but for the pride and the accolades that's why they do what they do and i can't wait to see who walks away with it i have my pick on centered edgy commandment i'd love to be right for my own pride but honestly seeing either of these teams win it will be so exciting but who is going to be able to do it they're both heading into end game all top five teams are still alive monster yeah, it's about the dignity, that gratification you get from uh, taking it all. That is what uh, these guys are fighting for. That is literally the difference maker. It's what the best, the best compete for. It's the adrenaline that you get in these big stages here. Acorn, Slacks, and Jack, though, let's evaluate the situation. Loot looking pretty decent. That's solid. Above the surge threshold as well, very comfortably. That's going to last them a zone or two's worth. So I'm liking the position this team is in. I'm loving the load as we're circling through these three individual perspectives there's chug splashes across the board big pots minis and shieldfish alike this is solid Slacks, Jack, and Acorn have a winning loadout. Commandment Center Edgy also have a winning loadout right now. None of them have an excuse for how this end game goes, but they are set up in very different situations. If Commandment Center and Edgy manage to get this zone on top of them, it would be massive as we have Nosh, Jamper, Paper, and we have Booger, Clicks, Bizzle in fourth place. Everyone's setting up for this. We have 10 seconds. The final game monster, half-half zone. Which way is it going to go? Who is going to be blessed and who is going to be challenged? It doesn't mean it's all over just because you don't get the zone. But we know how important this is, and it does. It pulls across to click oh Bizzle Booger. Gosh. They're going up for the high ground. They're going to try and make it four victory royales out of 12. They're having the absolute Cinderella run here to bring everything back. They want to fight. They want to fight for it, and they're not here to give it up. Harpoons are going to come out from clicks. Imagine if he pulled someone off there. That'd be crazy. He's not giving up his opportunity to do it, though. He's still attacking all enemies in the line of sight. Here goes the Storm Surge. It is out. It is active. That and that means build. players are going to have to get fighting. Yes. Yes. Look at the they players here as well. 
they have to be careful. We still. saw Clix's team chop out Zayt's team in a very similar situation, right? And I even saw Bizzle take to Twitter to gloat about it a little bit. You don't want to see Bizzle, Clix, and Booga fall there if you're a fan because they've built up high and they've reinforced, but not quite enough for my liking for how high up they are. Jack Slacks and Acorn also got this zone right now. Saf is making his way across. Mackwood is taking down Aids in the feed. Where is Sense and Edgy Commandment? They had a complete opposite half half. Have they made the rotate and how are they going to get hit? There they are. They're making their way through the builds, but once they come out here, once they hit the open air, it's all going to be down to them to pick the right paths. And what a good rotate from this team. They're splitting up a little bit though. I hope Commandment Edgy are going to come back up centered. Looks like they're going to try and break their way through. they got to be careful here. There's a team in there. Center takes some tags. This is your second place team just making it to half half. First place team is already in. They all have the loadouts. Three teams to go down before placement. No one is going down early. Yeah, let's not forget Reverse 2K Mero and Dare also out there amongst the Wolves. There is so much threat here in the field. There is so much threat, and they're not just safe just yet. They're going to have to inch their way in just a little bit more. It's Avery on the other side of the wall. The other team that was to the left has already moved. They're gone. Here's Acorn, Slacks, and Jack trying to get another position up, trying to get a Ooh. better angle coming into this new zone. There's so much no. congestion here because it went up and over the mountain. Now it's going to go down and out through the valley to the open field. This is a nightmare last game zone. This high ground hold from Clicks, Booga, and Bizzle, it's not good enough. This terrain is too volatile. They're going to have to give it up. This is the zone that will literally wake you up in a cold sweat. This is nightmare fuel. It is going to go across and over the waterfall. You need to stay up. You can't drop down. One misplaced oh there. Gosh. One wrong move. One wrong bouncer. One opponent that wants to break you out. And you are going to fall all the way to the very bottom and potentially fall out of your place on the leaderboard. But if you can stay up, if you can make it across, if you can bridge your way against all these players, you will survive and you will potentially win it. Look at that drop oh no. right now. As oh no. Acorn is going down. No, Acorn Jack and Slacks. Very deliberate, phenomenal play from this team. Bouncing the front side, staying in line now. They want to be beneath everyone else's builds. They don't want to be the team on the top, and they don't want to rely on another team. They're building the tops. They look phenomenal. Can Sense and Edgy Commandment get down in such a good position as well, or are they going to fall early? I like that they're keeping a low profile, staying away from the other opponents. It looks like they got a refresher as well. This is massive, and those are big pickups there. That's more loot for them to work with. That's more for them to go ahead and power their way through. They're one step closer to being your FNCS champions. This is such a race. All of the teams we need to be here are still here, and now that they're finding Elims, it's going to allow them to continue to maintain the lead. Everyone is still in this right now. We saw EU come down to the steamy endgame with the top teams all going head-to-head. -head. You and me, Monster said, is going to be hard for NA East to top that or even match it, but that is exactly what they're doing. All of our teams are up still here. We have a Nightmare Zone. Zayt, Saf, and Stretch, the kings of the high ground, Sented are on height. Clicks, Boozer, and Sensed. Sensed so low right now. Commandment and Edgy, they're on the back foot. They're 70 below. This is their last-ditch effort. Bottom right, keep your eyes on that. Everything is on them. Only 37 above. They need to hold on. They are clutching it very little right oh, now. Monster to try and hold in this one. Since it goes down, it's just up to Edgy and Commandment. Jack, Acorn, and Slacks are still up, and they came into this game with a five-point lead. Edgy, Commandment, what can you do to hold on to this? And Day finds Knight. Miro's gonna find the last tag on Sentinel there too. So that's a team that's finding tags. Remember, it is a three-way race right here for first place. Look at it. There's Day's eliminations. Day gets knocked by Saint on high ground. This is back and forth right now for all the teams that matter. And it's so much Ooh. pressure on Edgy's back. Edgy brings someone down into the box. Will he be able to find it? It's back and forth. And I think he does. It's on to Aviv. They're going into a box-to-box -box fight right across from them. Jack, Acorn, and Slacks. They can see what's going on, but they're not looking across. They're looking down, Ooh. and the punishment comes back. This is so close here. Edgy still picking up eliminations. We have our low ground king oh with my no gosh. low ground no. to play. This is essentially a sky base. Edgy goes down. It's all down to Commandment, but he's still getting eliminations in the feed. He has he one, but he is now a solo in second place oh. versus a trio. He's stepping up. He's doing everything he can to hold on to this. Commandment has shown such skill here today. We've seen some of the best plays I have ever seen in Fortnite, but Commandment needs that. Nothing 
short of pure brilliance will keep this team up here to take first place. You have Commandment as a solo going up against Jack Acorn and Slacks as an entire trio. He has no builds trying to jump his way through this. He's dropping down. He's going to his home on the low ground. But in a zone like this, you don't want to be here. He's got nowhere to go. He jumps. That's it. Oh, Second no. place is down. Slacks, Jack and Acorn in first place. They are still up. This is potentially their victory lap monster. Yes, definitely now, and Acorn is trying to jump down, he gets taken out, it's up to Slacks here, and Jack to pop up, pull in as much as they can to solidify this oh. home run, and let's see if they will be able to take it home on the low ground, though, Kanata, Mackwood, and Bucky here still picking up points, the race for top three is on for them, and they've made it all the way to top three here today, so many eliminations, who are we going to see make it back, Miro is still in this, that's the second place, Miro has so many eliminations, wait a second, first place it's not guaranteed for anyone not just yet it is not Will the fcs champions do it it's so close they took it down Miro dropped down there. Miro actually managed to take out Slacks, Jack, and Acorn. Third took out first there for points. Kanata, Mac with Bucky are down there. We have Zay's team on the high ground. Kanata goes up right now. He goes oh off the bouncer. Gosh. He has that legendary attack shotgun. He Kanata takes down Saf right now. These are two of the biggest teams, teams in the business. Kanata's team needs this. They're in fourth place. They're fighting for third. Bucky is trying to secure that invite straight into next FNCS finals. Zay, the king of the high ground. Can he do it? It's going to come down to oh. literally one tick. Ten oh. hills. No! Zay falls! Bucky oh, just no! manages to win it with 10 health right now. Monster, that was everything you want from a game of Fortnite. They just went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, gun for gun, shot for shot, blow for blow, and Bucky's team takes it, Kanata. Oh my gosh, what a game. But we also still had second place. Commandment sent an edgy Mirror going into that. Centered went down early. Commandment edgy held on. Commandment had to make the de desperate jump off high ground. He had no builds. Slacks, Jack, and Acorn went down. They secured the placement points, though. But was it enough? They went in on only a five-point difference. Everything just shook up. The fact Miro was there too. Miro had upwards of 10 eliminations as a trio there. They got third place. We know the significance of getting those placement points. They surely had more elims than commandment. I don't, I don't know, know who's going to take this off. Okay, I don't know who's going to take it. Either way, we have to throw it to the desk. That is going to be it from me and Monster Deface. Aussie Antics, thank you so much. Oh, we gosh. appreciate us having us. Analysts, break it down because this is going to be so close. I don't know. Okay, first off, before we <laughs> say anything, all right, thank you, Monster D-Face. Thank you, Aussie Antics. If you guys are not following those two and these two, please take an, a second because they poured their heart and soul into today and we could not have asked for anything else. Okay. I can't believe that it came down to a four-point difference. But your trio's champions out of NA East who held on to the title... That's right, it's Slax, Ooh. it's Acorn, it's Jacques. We are talking four point difference, boys. Commandment scented and edgy. They almost, almost pulled out all the stops and overtook. But Slax, his trio, they managed to hold on. Wow. I mean, that last game that we've just watched had absolutely everything you could have completely asked for. The top four and five teams all alive in the top six, plus oh Zay in there my. as well. And look at the difference. Four point difference no. between Slacks, Acorn and Jack and Commandment Sent and Edgy. We saw Commandment Sent and Edgy in that last game struggle with the Storm Surge and eventually be taken down. And if they'd managed to get that, that little bit earlier, a little bit more surge, keep them going through the movement, keep them going a little bit further in that end game, man, we could have seen a complete changeover. And how can we not talk about Commandment's huge solo clutch that he made there, getting way more placement points after the other two had gone down? Like every team here in the top, what an incredible performance today. No doubt that Scented and Edgy were performing so, but I feel like there was just so many moments on the broadcast where we got to see Commandment alone in the end game, mm -hmm. clutching up these points. And he clutched.